So you have up to $300 to spend on your GPU for your Creator PC. I have three of the best here from each company, AMD, Nvidia, and Intel. So which one of these is the best? And believe it or not, one of them is almost half the budget. Let's go. Antec Performance One Full Tower, the award-winning PC case that offers uncompromised cooling performance out of the box. This is the PC case that we're using for our maxed out video editing PC. I'm super happy with the DIY friendliness and how easy it was to build in it, as well as the cable management. It supports radiators up to 420 millimeters, comes with four pre-installed fans, 340 millimeter fans in the front and 120 millimeter fan in the back. They're all 30 millimeters thick and perform incredibly well when shifting air. It supports EATX motherboards up to 285 millimeters and GPUs up to 400 millimeters. In other words, you can fit pretty much anything in there that you want. Next to the front panel IO is a temperature display where we can see CPU and GPU temperatures. A good and quick way to make sure that everything's working well inside the PC case. The build quality is second to none and now it comes in two colors, a black and white. During the holiday season, it's more affordable than ever so check out Antec Performance One Full Tower in the video description below. So one of the first things I want to talk about is the price. So looking at the RTX 4060 here, uh, this goes roughly around $300 to $330. Now during the holiday season uh, and whenever you're watching this video, I highly recommend checking out the latest pricing in the description below because most likely you can find them even cheaper. So let me know what it costs to you wherever you're watching this from. Then we have the RX 7600 from AMD, which is around $250 to $300, depending on the model and the design of the card. Then the Intel Arc A750 can go from around $170 to $250. Now, right now I can see the A750s on a huge sale so I highly recommend checking out the latest pricing in there because that's like pretty much half, well, it is half the price compared to the 4060. So you can see pretty much that this is uneven comparison just because of the deal of each one of these cards. Now you might find a different deal on a different card. So check out the links in the description below for the latest price. I'll leave loads of GPUs in there for you to check out. First, looking at Geekbench 6, the RX 7600 is about 21% slower in the OpenCL and about 1.3% slower in the Vulcan score compared to the 4060. A750 is about 8.4% slower in the OpenCL but about 4.5% faster in the Vulcan scores. So you can see the performance there in Geekbench 6, not that big of a deal. Looking at Photoshop and here we have Puget Bench uh, 0.93.7. Looking at the RX 7600, that is 7.8, about 8% faster in the overall scores compared to the 4060. Very interesting. Now the GPU score for the RX 7600 is about 35% faster compared to the 4060 and about 21% faster in the filter score. So if you're doing Photoshop, you can see that the AMD card is a better option than the Nvidia, but the Arc is even better in this comparison. The ARC 750 is faster than the AMD as well and about 11% faster compared to the RX 4060 and about 50% faster in the GPU scores and about 30% faster in the filter scores. So if you're looking for a, a budget card for photo editing and video editing then the A750 is an amazing card for the price. As you can see outperforms the competition not just by price but also performance in Photoshop. In Lightroom Classic, they're all pretty much the same. And because they all have the same amount of VRAM as well, I don't see any difference there pretty much at all. So there's no point showing you the results. One thing I do want to mention is that if you find the A770 on a good deal, then the 16 gigabytes of VRAM will be even better in this comparison. And another thing I'm noticing, uh, this Sparkle card here, this is A750 from Sparkle, the fan design is very, very strong. Um, plastic what they've used here. The Asus ones are much thinner and the Zotac ones are thin as well but these A750 fans and design of this card feels much higher quality than neither of these two here and is the cheapest as well. 
Moving on to video editing, uh, Premiere Pro 23.6 and Puget Bench 0.98 on it. The Nvidia card is the baseline. The RX 7600 is about 7.4% faster in the extended core scores and about 12.3% in the standard overall scores. And if you look at the long GOP or intra frame, then the AMD card actually performs quite a bit better compared to the 4060. I mean, we can see, see that the long GOP standard score is about 30 one percent faster on the rx 7600 so that is a huge l for the nvidia card now the gpu effects though are faster on the nvidia card and that's what we usually see nvidia cards performing much better in there but at the same time premiere pro isn't so heavy on the gpu effects anyway so you're really gonna have to load like 40 of those effects really to start to see a difference so I'd say the 7600 is a very, very good option for this here. Now, the A750 is somewhere between the AMD and Nvidia card. As you can see, about 3.4% faster and about 8.5% faster than the Nvidia card, but still slightly slower than the RX 7600, but not at everything. If we're looking at the intra frame score, you can see that the A750 is the fastest in the bunch. And even the GPU effects in both of the instances, extended and standard scores, are fastest on the A750. Bear in mind, even though the long GOP score, where we're we talking about H.264 and 5, in the extended scores is faster on AMD and Nvidia cards compared to the A750, the rest of the scores really are better for the other cards there. But there's a huge performance uplift with the Premiere Pro 24.0 version where this A750 gets even more performance boost and actually utilizes the hardware acceleration of their media engines even more and would actually beat both of these cards by a long shot because now finally the Intel media engines inside the A750 are utilized and we can get harder acceleration for H.264 and H.265 long GOP their scores, which means that actually the Intel card here is a very, very interesting pick because it's the cheapest and outperforms these. Moving on to After Effects, and here the A750 actually crashed on the benchmark. I'm not saying it doesn't work on the program, but just the benchmark crashed and I couldn't get it working. So we're just gonna leave that one out there. So it's between the red and green teams and AMD is actually slower in every single instance. The 4060 has better support for After Effects, so I can't deny that, that Nvidia is better for After Effects. Moving on to DaVinci Resolve, and this is a Puget Bench 0.93.1 for DaVinci Resolve as well, and we're using DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Here we can see that the Nvidia card is the fastest. The Intel card gets quite a big lose here, compared to AMD and Nvidia and the AMD card is about 7.5% slower in the standard overall scores. The 4K media is about the same but GPU effects about 12% slower but the A750 is between 18 to 30 or 46, 47% slower. Interestingly, the GPU effects are actually the fastest on the Arc here. And again, the thing with Arc is that Arc gets driver updates like very, very often. And every time you update the driver, the performance gets better and better and better and better. Like from 12 months ago, this Arc was not competitive at all. And now, 12 months later, when Nvidia released a whole new generation, suddenly the ARC is better in a lot of the ways than the new generation, as well as the 7600. The ARC is a little bit of a dark horse here in this comp comparison. But moving on to 3D, and here we can see in V-Ray, only Nvidia is supported there, so really none of these cards are, have any chance against nvidia in blender though all of these cards are supported so let's take a look at the results and here i've swapped around the base mark and then we're moving up so the base now is the amd card and then the a750 is about 63 to 83 percent faster than the amd card so in blender the arc is a lot faster like a lot faster than the amd card but now the nvidia card is in a whole another level. For 3D, AMD and Intel have no chance against a a a Nvidia. You can see Nvidia is 195.8% faster than the AMD, which is almost three times as fast as the AMD card. 
and almost twice as fast as the Intel card. So the Nvidia card is a whole nother level. And you can see the same in Octem Bench because only Nvidia is supported in there not AMD or Intel. And in Redshift, very, very similar results. Here, the AMD card is 48% slower, so almost double the performance on Nvidia card compared to AMD. And Intel card is not supported in Redshift, so if you're using Blender, the Intel card, I'd recommend that there as well. But for anything else 3D, the Nvidia card is a whole nother level. So even the budget option here is three times faster in Blender compared to some of this competition. Now, in conclusion, which card should you be getting? Now, it depends your workflow and what you're doing. So I highly recommend checking out the links in the description below as well to get the latest pricing and the best price for you. But what I would say is that the Intel one is a huge dark horse in this competition this sparkle version as well you can get it with uh, two fans or three fans and you can get this very very cheap i can see some of these going for 170 dollars for that price it, none of these cards really make sense because it's so much cheaper and you just think for photo video editing it's insane right because it's not just cheaper but also better than some of these cards now then let's say we don't have a discount on you have a good deal on the amd card the amd card 7600 is actually not a bad pick it's very good for photo and video editing the downside is 3d so it's not going to perform very well in, in there but just depending where you're going to find it and what the price is for that card and what's your workflow like but at the same time if you are doing 3d the nvidia card has no competition pretty much any of these ones the nvidia card is just so much faster that it's absolutely ridiculous right so 3d get nvidia for video and photo editing i'd really say that the arc is a cheaper and better option compared to the amd one but if the amd card is on a better deal it's not a bad pick if you're getting this one but do you like this blue design of a card or is that a little bit weird let me know what you think in the comment section below also if you do want to build yourself best bang for buck create a pc then my build guides are in the description below they're completely free whatever your budget is there's one for you see you soon